Blessed and happy Sunday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack, my dear Kababayans. Today is February 4th, 2024, and today is the fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B. Our Gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verses 29 to 39. Today, let me speak about the reality of a suffering. Many of us probably can relate or can connect with the life story of Job in our first reading for today. Like Job, some of us, we experience months of emptiness. We experience nights of miseries. We feel like life is a series of un unpleasant events and felt like no more happiness for us. Unpleasant events like events of hardships, Events of distress, miseries, sadness, stress, heartaches. And like Job, we felt like life is a drudgery, you know. And we question God. And sometimes we also say, does the human beings have a hard service on earth? Why do innocent people experience sufferings? And like Job, we equated life to hardship. And this is a terrible human experience. Now, what can we learn of uh, the readings for today? What is the message of our readings? Number one, when we experience sufferings, you know, in a form of sickness or crisis or health issues, financial struggle, you know, loss of a loved one, raise your hope to Jesus amidst of your pains, amidst of your sufferings, and amidst of your afflictions. The more we have sufferings, the more we should cling to the Lord. Do not abandon the Lord. Do not forget the Lord when you are suffering. Suffering is a blessing in disguise. Saint Teresa once said, Suffering, it is a kiss of Jesus. Rejoice when you experience sufferings because suffering will refine the best version of ourselves. And second, remain loyal to God because suffering is just like a breath. It is temporary. It's not forever. It has an expiration date. And there is joy in knowing that everything is temporary including our pains, including our experience of sufferings. Perhaps like Job, we have moments in our life that we cry to God for an explanation. We question Him. Why me? Where are you during my suffering? Why are you punishing me? Are you God? But the friends, in moments and experience of sufferings, trust the Lord. Never abandon God. And in our second reading, like St. Paul, we are encouraged to be all to all. And we are also reminded not to, to sell the gospel because the gospel is not for sale. The good news is free of charge. My dear friends, there are so many people suffering because sometimes we make the gospel as an avenue for commerce and for business. And St. Paul is reminding us today, hey, our service is free of charge. The gospel is not for sale. Be all to all. And our gospel also is a beautiful testimony that we have a God who cares. The Lord heals the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the broken hearted. Unleash your worries to God. Release your stress, your sufferings to God because He cares for you and for me. That's why the healing of the mother-in-law of uh, Simon Peter, it reminds us that there is a God who loves the people we love. There is a God who cares for the people we care. But the friends, as what I've told you, Surrender all your sufferings to God. Surrender it to the Lord. And tell the Lord, Lord, 
please take over. Lord, please take charge. And listen to this. God does not want us to try harder. He just wants us to, to trust deeper. Stop trying. Start trusting. And the best way to trust the Lord is to pray. Because prayer is the weakness of God and it is the strength of man. Nothing is more powerful than a surrendered life in the hands of God. We are secured when we know how to surrender. We are safe when we know how to trust. Let me end my reflection with three S. S, S, S. When there is an experience of sufferings, when you experience sufferings, first S, service must be our immediate response to our healing. Like what the mother-in-law of Simon Peter did. She served the Lord after she received healing. Service must be our response to our healing. And second, when you experience suffering, the second is surrender it to God. Allow God to take care of it. And the best way to surrender, the gospel is telling us, pray. Never stop praying because prayer is the oxygen of our soul. God can do more than us. Trust the Lord. Surrender it to Him. Hope in God because those who put their trust in the Lord will never be disappointed. And when you do that, when you trust the Lord, when you hope in Him, when you place your trust in Jesus, we will be safe because God is our security. No life is more secure than a life surrendered to God. When you surrender, you will learn how to smile. When you trust, you will learn how to smile because you know that God is in control. Friends, always remember that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and the Lord heals the brokenhearted. If you love and like this reflection, kindly share it with your friends. Can you share it with your families so that many will be blessed? Amen.